Hi, it's John Kelly. In this module, we're going to discuss monitoring and other items in Standards for Quality Control. And as always, we want to be efficient and effective, follow professional standards, and document what we have done. Now, monitoring is probably the most important of the matters discussed in SQC. I've discussed EQCR in another module, and the other matters in the SQC are pretty well dealt with in the standard, and the standard gives you basically a list of steps that you are to perform, and they're pretty self-explanatory, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on that. I do want to talk about monitoring a little because this is sometimes misunderstood. So the first thing to be understood about monitoring, it's an annual process. It's something that has to be done each year. And it's an ongoing evaluation of the quality control procedures in the firm. So it's ongoing and annual in that there's an annual report to be provided. Now there are two parts to the annual process. There's the annual process, the stuff you do each year, things like independence confirmations, for instance. And the second part is file inspections. I think occasionally people think that the monitoring process is only about file inspections, but there's a list of other things that you have to do annually, independence confirmations, for instance. Now, file inspections, the thing, two things that are important there is that the inspector has to be independent, independent of the audit team and independent of the EQCR person. So it's an independent review. That can cause problems for sole practitioners because they're probably going to have to enlist the help of a colleague to do their file inspections. The other thing about file inspections is they are to be done on a cyclical basis. A66 suggests a three-year cycle. Some people have interpreted that to mean that they're going to wait for three years and then do a bunch of file inspections. And I don't think that qualifies us on a cycl cyclical basis. I think a cyclical basis means that every year you do some file inspections. And over three years, you'd make sure that you'd covered every partner in the firm. The things that you have to do annually, for instance, is you have to do an evaluation of the process. You have to decide whether your monitoring process is appropriate and your quality control procedures are appropriate. You have to consider remedial action if you find deficiencies. And an annual report has to be prepared to partners and staff describing what the annual process found during the year. And you have to document what you have done. And basically, standards provide a checklist. They just say, here are the things that you are to do. Now, other matters that are specified in standards for quality control, leadership tone at the top, the attitude and uh, behavior that the leadership of the firm is supposed to uh, follow. You are supposed to, of course, follow ethical rules. I don't know that we need standards to tell us that because we have to follow ethical rules. There is a list of things that we are to do when we accept a new client. And there is a similar list. It's almost an identical list of considerations that we are to perform annually as we decide whether we're going to continue with a client. So that's something that has to be done annually for every client. And there's a list provided for both of those things. So be sure we do and document those. Other matters discussed in standards are human resource policies, consultation policies, policies on differences of opinion. Be careful on differences of opinion, by the way. Differences of opinion are not when you have a discussion between two partners about what the right answer is, and eventually the partners agree and say, oh yeah, okay, I thought it was this way, but I now agree with you. A difference of opinion is when, for instance, the engagement partner and the EQCR come to diametrically opposed positions cannot agree and you need some way within the firm of breaking the tie and deciding which which opinion you go with that is a difference of opinion and that's probably unusual your there's requirements for documenting the process and you have to have procedures to deal with complaints that come to the firm so thanks for listening